In this video, we are going to see how we can run and save a MATLAB code and its output in a well-presentable PDF document like this. So let us get started. So this is the M file named published tutorial that contains the code I want to run and save together with its output in a well-presentable PDF format. So each of the section in my PDF will be equivalent to the section in my code. So as you know, double percentage sign represent a section in my MATLAB code. And if I want an output to appear in my PDF file, I have to leave it without a semicolon. So if you put a semicolon, the output will not appear in your PDF file. So I have a second section which plots a continuous time signal. So the output will also come out in my PDF file. I have a third section for plotting a discrete time signal. So all you have to do is go to your menu bar and then go to publish. Then within publish, you have two options whether to publish directly, but you may not know the default settings for the publish. So you just go to edit publishing options. So in the output file format, there are different options. As you can see by default, it is in HTML. So if you want to save it in latest or PDF, you can change. So I want to save it in PDF. So output folder, you can select your output folder. So if I click on it, so I want to save it on my desktop. I have a folder marked love tutorial. Within that, I have a folder published tutorial. So I want to save it there. So after changing the settings, you can click on close or click on publish to publish it within the PDF file. Or if you click close and then click publish, then it will run the code and then generate your PDF file. So this is the PDF file generated with my sections. You can see these are the sections and I have the output of my code here for each section. So this is the section for plotting continuous time signal. I have my output for discrete time signal. Also, I have the code and I have the output. Alternatively, you can go to the command window and use the publish function. So the first argument it takes is the name of your M file, which is publish tutorial. Then you give it the format you want, which is PDF. And you can specify the output directory for your own preference. So if you click on enter, so it will run the code again and it will generate the PDF file within that folder. So here I am in the MATLAB tutorial folder. Within it, there is the publish tutorial folder. If I click on it, I have my PDF file. So this is your PDF file. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.